Hello people from all over the world, my name is Diego Miranda and I'm the office manager of Alpaca Expeditions. Welcome back to another episode of the Inca Talks through Alpaca Expeditions TV. We are really happy that you are keeping posted with us through all of these videos and today is not going to be the difference. We are going to talk about one of the ruins inside of the Inca Trail. The Inca Trail used to be a sacred path for the Incas during the Inca Empire was only for chosen people. That's why the Inca Trail is on the bucket list of a lot of hikers because even at this time only 500 people per day can get inside the Inca Trail. So it's not for everybody. It's something for you to do if you are a hiker. So we are going to have one of our guides. This guide is Fletcher. He's going to <clears throat> talk to us about the ruins of Patayacta. Patayacta basically means the ruins or the city at high elevation. And these were, these are located around 2,800 meters high inside of the Inca Trail. And when you do the classic version of the four days, you get access to these ruins and also to meet the history about them. We are going to have Fletcher explaining about the history, the function, and everything you may want to know about, about these ruins. So let's continue with him. And again, thank you very much for keeping posted with us. We can't wait for you to come so we can show you these um, ruins, these tricks, the history of the city, but in person. We want to create experiences with you. We can't wait. So thank you very much for keeping posted with us. Hi, everyone in our friends around the world. This is Fletcher and my colleague, Ellis Bad. We work as the tour guide in the bucket expedition. So in this opportunity, we're gonna talk about this beautiful town located down below. But first, we're gonna show you from where the traditional Inca Trail start. So the traditional Inca Trail starts from the bottom here, around this mountain. And pass through this beautiful Inca site. So this, this Inca town is one of the beautiful, one of the biggest Inca construction along the way. And then follow this valley because much Picchu Inca town located in this direction. So who discovered this beautiful town? When was discovered this Inca construction? So this Inca construction was discovered in 1915 by Mr. How Mr. Hiram Lincoln took this valley in 1911 to follow Papa Rebel until much later. He rediscovered, as we know, much later in 1911 together with the local. After four years, he took the opposite way from Machu Picchu until this town. He started hiking from Machu Picchu until here. Along the way of the Inca Trail, he found many Inca constructions. So this Inca town is one of the last Inca construction he found in his so, Mr. Hiram Bigan asked him one of the local people about the name of this Inca site. One of the local people, you know, talk about this town. The name of this town is Yachtapata. Yachtapata is in our local language, which means Yachta town, Bata terraces, means town over of the terraces. 
therapists. So, the allocation of this in Kansabu is very eccentrical, located in the middle of four valleys. So, over there we have Kusichaka Valley, Hakas Valley, Harukasika Valley, the Incas, and Rajukini Valley. Let me show you. Majestic mountain Veronica, located in 5,720 meters above sea level, 18,000 feet. So, my ancestors considerate And also our life. That's why we consider it as that gigant. So this beautiful town only has the chance to enjoy it. The people look the eat as well. Well, this Inca town was built in 1390s. One of the kids means Bachakuti, king number nine, he ordered to build this Inca town. At the same time, then much rich. So now we are going to go down there to see how the Incas start building those. Let me show down below near of the river there we have supporting terraces or retaining terraces and down there we have protection walls. What about here? Here we have so many farming terraces. Here the Incas produce different kind of crops in those terraces. Those terraces have different microclimate. That's why the Incas produce different varieties of crops, like a potato, yuku, corn, quinoa, or that. So the Incas were used llama, alpaca, fruit as the fertilizer. That's why the Incas harvest 
big potatoes, big corns, no, a lot of heat. After the harvest, the Incas provide too much pitch to support the people with much pitch. And also, near the people live around much pitch. How the Incas transport those kind of supplies to much pitch? Incas were used llamas. Each lava carried 15 or 17 kilograms, with a 30 or 35 pounds. So here we have war canals. The war came from Hakas Valley. And this war the water wouldn't really go nowadays because the Incas will use the water to fire the irrigation system for drink, for cook, and for different activities. This is the, the main street came from down there and going to up there. I can up there and go to the right and to the left side. So here we have many living houses and enclosures. According to research, we have here like 112 enclosures or living houses. Some of them, the Incas were used for live and for food storage. So here we have the here we have the walls the still original. The Incas built those kind of walls like a rudimentary steel, simple construction. Incas use a stone between the stone put the water but and here we have the main access to the house so this door have trapezoidal shape white at the bottom and narrow at the top why the Incas built in this system, in this steel? Because the Incas uh, built uh, So here we have 112 enclosures, living houses. So down there, we have original constructions, still this time up. And here, we have constructions look like new, because it was restricted by the creatures. So, in some of the houses, the Incas were living, in some of the houses, Incas were used as the food storage. So imagine how many people live in this town. In each house, Incas were live one family. Approximately here we're living like a 400 500 Incas, including the farmers, the 
workers. And then here we have one beautiful evidence how the Incas built the house, the walls. So Incas used mortar between the rock, which means this is like a rudimentary construction. And here we have like a trapezoidal shape of door, white at the bottom and narrow at the top. Why the Incas build in this technique? Because for resist the earthquake. And also, here we have small niches. And we have a small window. So in those small niches, the Incas will put different, very important objects. In some of the Inca constructions or Inca towns means Cusco, Pisac, Ollantitam, Machu Picchu, there we have more bigger the niches. In those niches, Incas live the very important persons as the mammies. And here, a small window. Incas were used as the ventilation. All of the house we have here have touch roof, touch roof, like a in triangular shape. But why the Incas built in this shape? Because here we have dry season and wet season. In the wet season, here we have rain very hard. When you build in the triangular shape, the touch roof, the water only flowing faster. For making a touch roof, the Incas were used this kind of material and grass. Each touch roof one time ago resist like four or five years. Nowadays those materials resist one maximum two years because the pollution, the global warming is very strong. Well here we have five water fountains. So the Incas took the water here for drink and for cook. Most of the time the Incas will use the water for purification. And when the water arrived to this first fountain and passed through under this boat to the next water fountain. Same run into the rest of our fountain we have down below. And as I told you before, here we can see the main street. And down below we have the main door, the main access to this town. So down there we can see Temple of the Sun. So, why the Incas build the Temple of the Sun in this town? Because the Sun was very important to the Incas. Was the creator of the Incas. That's why the Incas built the Temple of the Sun in honor to him. So, the purpose of the Temple of the Sun was astronomical observatory in the winter solstice and in the summer solstice. On June 21st winter solstice, 
the Eagle Gus. Celebrate the very important activity, Doctor. So after the sun flies, the Incas will live very happy about seeing again the sun. And then they are very happy sharing all of the food, dream, means chicha, and sharing, dancing. For this meal. I hope you like this short video about this beautiful town. We make for you from the bottom of our hearts. I hope you are safe at home. We are sending positive energy not from the bottom of our hearts from Cusco, Peru. We are waiting to you. See you later.